Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Quip Talk. Uh, thank you. Our next guest is a hilarious stand up comedian who you have seen all over your TV. Uh, she currently has a game show called Spin Off. It is Elvira Kurt. <laughs> Welcome to the show. I'm so Thank excited you. to have you on. Oh my god, me too. I can't, yeah. This is such a, it's so fancy. I had no idea it was so fancy. It is, it is. It's very, very fancy. And, and so uh, everyone is so talented. Amanda Paul is uh, the, like the greatest lesbian folk singer. <laughs> it's been years since I've seen that caliber in a sister. She's awesome. <laughs> yes. She is wonderful. Right? Um, you are yes. you are wonderful. I, you're fantastic. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm good. I'm you're good. okay. So now your your new um, game show spin-off. Okay, right? sure. Yeah, let's talk about that. It's I want to because it's it's produced by Mark Burnett of Survivor and Chelsea yeah. and I are huge Survivor fans. Did yeah, you it was, it was pretty exciting. Did you meet him and did he make you go through any challenges? Okay, first to get the job? you should first start. First start with does anyone know what the show? Has anyone seen the show? Has anyone seen the spinoff? A couple of people have. I mean. <laughs> it's such a crazy, it's so bizarre. You know, because it's on, it's regional. So it's not like right. it's, it's this Mark Burnett thing, but it's, it's on Channel 11. So it's in Hamilton. And that's Channel 11 if you're like me and, it, and you're 50. If, if you're young, like you, then it's, uh, it's not even Channel 11 anymore. It's CHCH has branded itself, it's channel zero. So what? It's, it's like it's lowered the bar to where it's not even a number. It's just zero. I didn't it's know just, that. So I'm amazed when they, that you've seen it or you're even talking. Let's talk about your new show that seven people know about. I have, but why Why is Mark Why is Mark Burnett producing a show that's only do, on CHC? Do you know why? <laughs> this is such a state of the way um, <laughs> television is. People, they want content, but I mean, what are you doing? This is you're filming. This, this is going to be on the, online, on the web, on the so YouTube, on, online, right? On because that's, because that you can find content anywhere. So they don't want to spend money anymore. They want to, They want to put something on television. But even Mark Burnett, he's like, oh, man, oh I can't. And then I have twenty dollars. What can we make <laughs> with twenty dollars? And you know, and Canada's like twenty American dollars. Well, we can. <laughs> We can co-produce something, oh God. And, and so Mark Burnett's like, oh, "All right, let's let's dabble. Let's <laughs> oh. so let's throw a couple of dollars towards this other country. What country? Canada. Canada. Let's sure. give them a shot." And so they, they go. I mean, which is to me, it's bizarre because I, I, when they when I was asked to consider the game, I, uh, I, I they explained it to me, and I was like, "This game is genius." This is going to be a monster hit. And the, the truth is, like, it, maybe if it was online, where people aren't going, yeah. but if it's on Channel Zero, regional market. I actually can't find it online. I tried to watch episodes online, and I can't find it. <laughs> it's so typically Canadian. We made a thing! Good luck finding it! Yeah. Yeah. But the show is genius. It's genius. It is... It's uh, it takes um, uh, trivia, your knowledge of trivia, so shit we all know. Yeah. Uh, with luck, so you <laughs> can be a smart person who's unlucky, or a stupid person. Who's extremely lucky. Right, and I mean it's it's amazing. Yeah. And then uh, my role as the as the host was just to just to be there, just to provide banter, <laughs> because one of the other uh, brilliant aspects of the this game show was there's no time limit. On, on on the question. So it's like a, a trivia. I would ask you a question. Yeah. And also it's Canadian trivia, so even better, right? Because <laughs> no one knows Canadian trivia. Well, right, but, but I mean, but we're really smart. So, you know, there would be questions because some of the Americans would come up and they'd be like, this show is like for, you, like, do PhDs, are they on this show? Do you have Canadian, I mean, American contestants on the show? No, but okay. some of the American, right, the Burnett people would right, come up, this right. is a hard show. <laughs> but it's only because it was, a, it was a geographical question. You know, where's Banff? And the Americans would be like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Who are the geniuses that these questions are aimed at? And we were like, well... <laughs> 
American. Because I'm telling you, there were these basic questions. This is what I mean by stupid, lucky people. So there was, like, so I would ask, it would be a general, just a general information question. So it, it, off the top of my head, there was, um, what uh, liquor is named after a wild game bird? A big game bird. Okay, so there's a, it's a basic, you know, yeah. it's your standard, you should know. Don't, it, it, you won't have to dig deep. And in fact, the contestant that I asked this of was, worked in a bar. That was her, you know, that was the little, you know, before we start the game, the little banter. She said, I work at a bar. I'm like, oh, that's cool. What are so you going to do with your money? And then finally, question, well, this is right up your alley. And so again, my job, I can't leave them. I can't help them. Right. I have to stay completely neutral. So you ask a question, what is, uh, what liquor is named after a big game bird? And, and you know, you get somebody who says, is it remember somebody works at a bar? Emu. What? Right? Emu. And so when I I have to stay neutral when it's my brain is screaming, Are you are you retarded? Yeah. And you're not allowed to say that. Well, I can't well you <laughs> never say that because that's bad. You can't well, you, you can't just call said it. you can't say that. Well, you can't, well it's, <laughs> it's retarded of me. I'm clearly retarded to say the word. <laughs> retarded because it's such a bad word to say. But that's what my mind is screaming because there's no one else in there, so I'm under the cone. Of course. I'm not judging me. <laughs> but I am standing there in front of this person. I can't help her in any way. Nope. And she says, uh, emu, and I'm, and I have to I have to keep the, the neutral face. Emu. So okay, that, oh that's interesting. So when you're in the bar, then is is emu a popular brand? Is that a lot of people come up and they'd like you know I'd like a I'd like a, an emu and a beer chaser. That's why I would like a, a nice shot of emu because you want to you you don't you can't say anything no. but and they and so is that the answer you want to? Well, maybe maybe not emu maybe. And this just goes on forever because ostrich. Yeah, like she could just go on. This woman was just. Are the episodes Delightful. like that though? Like, are the are the episodes a half an hour of a girl trying to figure out? It could out... be. Well, this was the other thing. So it's not you weren't we not we're not filming episodes. Okay. We were filming contestants. However oh long God. somebody took. Someone could be on there for a month. And then in and then, but yeah, and then in in post as they call it, then they cut and paste and they put a show together, and uh, <laughs> and so you know this this particular woman she went on for a long time. Um, Amazing. And so she she ended up being her own episode because she was so delightful uh, in her she sounds lovely. ability to just keep guessing. And so, you know, out of five questions in a round, this is what I'm talking about, about people who should potentially not keep playing. Right. They would get one out of five answers right. And because there was luck, you know, every time you got a right answer, you know, this big giant wheel that they paid for, there was all the Very money went into. Set. Exactly. Yeah. They... Uh, that that wheel would uh, sh show green if you got a right answer, but if you got a wrong answer, it would show red. And then you spin the wheel, and whatever color like it lands on green goes. So this particular woman, you, every 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 wedge on the wheel was like a Trivial Pursuit pie, was red <laughs> except for one sliver. And the uh, and then though she'd spin the wheel, and the audience would be like, oh, there's no way, and she'd be like, come on. Green, come on! But of course, sure enough, it would land on that one sliver. <laughs> and at that point, I've got I got a tiny little earpiece, and I have the producers telling me, "Okay, now you gotta you gotta use the language that I memorized that takes the that that urges this contestant." Because again, I yeah. cannot tell someone what to do, but I can suggest by in psychologically in the, my placement of the way I ask the question, I can encourage them to go right to the end. You should not keep playing. <laughs> Let's go right to the end. And she'd be like, the wheel loves me. Oh. <laughs> and it just came, it was amazing. So it was, a, it was an incredible experience. I thought this game was going to be a monster. And I was, you know, I had already, I bought the house. I was kind of like, <laughs> I was down in LA. I was like, I'm going to be one of those lesbians that just kills it. I'm just going to be, <laughs> I'm going to get into fist fights with Ellen about who's more awesome. And then, Amazing. You know, and then it's on CHCH and nobody watches it and buried in a graveyard and I just said retarded online. And um, I've called someone stupid who's probably watching. It's just a nightmare from this point on. Um, so it's funny that you mentioned that because I consider myself a comedian and not a game show host. Right. This was an amazing opportunity that I thought I was going to be. This was, this was, this I was going to retire. I'm going to be known <laughs> as the host of spin-off. 
And you're the only one who's seen it. I have. I'm I'm sorry about that. I wish you hadn't brought it up. Now I, no, was in such no. a, I was in such a good mood, even though the weather's so shitty. Why did I leave the house for this? Hey, what? A, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, well, thanks for coming, everybody. Yeah. No, um, it, Here's another song from Mandeville. She's going to bring us down. <laughs> Jog back that steam whistle. Um, so you're also, you also have a segment on, on Q. Is that sure, so? sure. Let's talk yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. So you get to sit there with, uh, with John Gomeshi every day and John rant. Gomeshi, yes. Although today I was watching, uh, we all watched the girls win, um, gold and, yeah. and, uh, I loved John Cherry. I don't normally watch the hockey because I, if the girls played all the time, I would be there. That mm-hmm. would be, there is not a straight woman on the ice. Exactly. I, I got news for you. It's true. I don't know who they're trying to fool with their headbands. They got some of them have the black makeup. What's the black makeup? What's the one that you put on your eyes? Eyeliner. What's that called? Eyel- is it mascara? Is that the one you? Mascara is for your is eyelashes. That... Eyeliner is for it's your. Eyeliner. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, so, I'm such a bad I'm, girl. I'm I'm no. such a, I am the worst woman ever. So the eye, the <laughs> one that the eye, the around the eye, the eyeliner. Yes. Listen to Nikki. Nikki knows what. I, just come to me for your makeup tips. Um. That is not going to help you. If you are wearing skates and you are playing for Team Canada, you have devoted your entire life to playing hockey, and you wear something called a jill. You're, the <laughs> eyeliner isn't going to help you. Neither is the ponytail. You are such a lesbian. There is no. <laughs> there is such a dikey vibe coming off the ice, right? It's it's like any. So I don't know who they're. They, oh, there's no gays in Sochi, really? Because you have to look at the hockey. <laughs> Look at that. Even Switzerland today, the bronze standing out there. You're just going down the eyes. They're putting on the medals. Uh, lesbian, bisexual. Lesbian hasn't decided. Lesbian, uh, she slept with everyone on the team. That <laughs> one, she slept with every woman in the village. You just, you're just, I'm just picking them off. Boom, yeah. boom. I got you all. The gaydar is going off the hook. So. Great sport. So, yeah. So, so I never watched the hockey, so I don't really know Don Cherry. And then suddenly he's, I, you know, then the. In the overtime section, he's on with the with the coat, and uh, and he mangles Gian's name so badly. It's you... uh, what well, he was like. He used to say to Ron McClain, "You know that guy, that John. What's that guy's name? Jim Jim Ash. It's like he's never lived in a multicultural country right? before. Don Cherry. Is he? Have, does he only eat? Right? Yeah. I only see white people. How he does him, so I, I feel I feel bad for Gian because he's such a a great guy. But then you have you know other icons like Don Cherry. Are you guys all on the same team? We're all working there. Exactly. At CBC, We're learn each network. other's names. It's not yeah. that hard. Mm. Or just say the scruffy guy. What's that Iranian <laughs> guy? Who's the guy that uh, yeah. that works with uh, your Yeah. Shirt? So anyway, he's uh, what about it? He's it's it's fun. It's fun yeah. to see him there. It's Are fun you, to see him on TV. You get to rant a lot. You seem like you love ranting. You're a big I have a lot of opinions. Where did this? <laughs> I think a lot of things. Most what? of them complicated. Okay. No, I I don't know. Do do I feel I, ranty? Does it? Isn't it validating to totally to just have somebody say what you're thinking? Well, you're not allowed to say anything really right. controversial. Anything I say on the radio, usually as I'm walking out out of the CBC, someone's like, "Yeah, you're gonna have to. You can't." We might, yeah. that's going to get a letter. <laughs> yeah. You know, because having a, isn't it the, because you never hear from people who think the way you do. Yeah. Right? It's always the people who, I don't know what kind of time you have where you're like, I am so angry. A lot of people. Whip out a piece of paper. I'm angry enough to write a letter. Mm, this made me mad. Mm, why are my dollars, <laughs> why are my dollars going to this? Mm, sign Rob Ford. Mm, mm, they're all left-handed. They're all left-handed. <laughs> so I, I don't know. You're, so it's always we always pay attention to the people who are saying something negative, and these are the idiots. If we not learn that yes. anyone, right? Do you get? You must get so many people who hate you. A lot of them. I I and who hate your I show. I had to leave Twitter because of it because I'm right? getting so many negative. No, people love me. No, okay. Well then. <laughs> what about? You're doing something right. <laughs> Clearly, I have not bothered to care about people. So No, the truth is no one knows who I am, and that's why no one has said anything bad about me yet. 
Nobody knows who I am. No, I'm Nikki, nobody knows who I am either. I no, they don't. Like I have this exact same outfit. <laughs> as, as they you. think you're the host of Quip Talk. They love but you. Possibly. Well, when did when did he shave? That's, <laughs> that's adorable. It's the same bow tie. Um, now I yeah, go. I, we, I'm sorry. We, yeah, we like to play games here. Oh, we like to play games. Game. It's not it's not spin off. It's okay. something else. Um, I'm going to need two audience volunteers. I know you're out there. I know you want to play. Who is it? I want you up here, and I want you up here. Great! Come on up! Yay! Yeah! Is it Steam Whistle? Then yes! Fantastic! Thank you! Your name, sir? Joe. Joe! And your name, sir? It's Matt. Joe and Matt! Have a seat, Matt! You can, you can sit. Joe and Matt, meet each other. This is Elvira. Okay, guess what? We're playing a game made famous by... Yeah, go ahead. Have it. Classic. We can sit at the same level, if you want. Up here. Great. Um, no, grab, grab the bum. Okay. So we okay. There's a there's a really fun game that Ellen made popular called what is it called? Heads up! Thank you so much. I'm looking at it. It's not words aren't here. So um, it is it's a it's an app that everyone should go home and download because it's so much fun. And it's all categories, and you hold it up to your head, okay? And then it you, you try to get them. You are gonna try and get me to guess what is up here. And if I guess right, I flip down. And if I guess wrong, I flip up and get the next thing. Kind of sorta. Maybe. How's your trivia? I'm I'm good. I'm awesome. Great. All right. All right. Why don't we'll go we'll go first? Is that yeah? Let's play this oh, game. Oh, we're a team. Yeah, you're your teams. So Joe and Elvira are gonna work Joe together. Elvira, I'm gonna work with go. Matt. Matt, let's pick a category. Hold it, hold it. See it, right? Yeah, you pick the categories for us. You you be useful. Jesse. She's so you. awesome. Oh, she's great. So, such a good singer. A too. great singer. Yeah, yeah. Did, did everyone love her enough then? She's one of the city's best musical improvisers. I agree. I agree. Now, yeah, because we have to know. Great. Accents and okay. impressions. Okay. Uh, do you want to guess or be the one? Good. Will you hold this up to your forehead? Please hold it. Oh, so you guys are doing it We're with to each, each other. other. Yes. Oh, I, um, I don't know. Flip up. I don't... Flip up. Okay. Flip it up. Yeah, that's not. This isn't. Yes. Oh no, that was correct. So let's do it the other way. Okay. Uh, no, hold on. Stop. It's so. It's so easy. We're gonna start over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's so if I get so it, if I get it right, fun. you flip up. And I'm already it. having and so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's try. Okay. Hold it. There we go. Okay. And any second? No. No. This is not a well thought out game, Elvira. No. So how does this work? To actually Alan, have interaction this? with each other, just to this have is, communication. I would love to. Edit it would be all fun to just. Uh, there we go. No. Okay, get ready for it. Three. <laughs> Still not. I'm, this is dumb. Oh, uh, me, 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 me. No. Me, 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 me. You can see. Yeah, but because you can see it, that's. No, it's it is kind of, but it, this is somebody else. Flip down. No, flip down. Okay. Oh, uh, you, hey. Uh, um, uh, it, it, no, it, it's uh. Oh, uh, here's Johnny. Yes, flip up. Yes, correct. You're yeah. Oh, the uh, audience loves it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um. Uh, oh, if I uh tell you this accent, this isn't. No, it's not working out very well. I'm wow. not getting this accent. Flip down. Mm. Oi. Oh, yes. Oh, you got it right. This is a terrible accent. I've never been good at it. Uh, no, it's wow. not terrible. Oh, but not even yeah, close. So it's a racist game. Uh, is that it? It's Shrek? Shrek? <laughs> you know what? It's wow, fine. I was so never good at accents. We got three-ish. We kind of got two. It's three, but there was a lot of humiliation. You did. Was it really? Was it worth it's it? It's all right. It was just... um, pick a category for Is these Is there no guys. rehearsal for There's the no show? rehearsal at all. No, it's all grassroots. Okay. We all just go from, right. from nothing. I would maybe show up an hour early. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Show, show up an hour early. Do a bit of a run through. That's... All right. TV shows. Is it? Are you what are you talking about? I did it. <laughs> 
Amazing. I have met my husband. I've met my beard. This is my beard. Opposite of the small sister. Reality TV show. Thank you. All right, cha ching. Excellent. Um, oh my god. Uh, um, I don't know this one. Um, uh, Mark and blank. Uh, a sign school. When you have a, when you're working on a, an assignment. Um, Thank you. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Um, oh my God. I don't watch TV. Um, I do. I don't. Um, um, uh, two words. Uh, second word. When you're messing around with someone, you're having. Uh, yes. And then the first one uh, rhymes with um, covert. <laughs> that was almost a great hint. Was it Covert Affair? That's a film's in Toronto. Oh, it's all right. No, <laughs> that's the spin-off of dramas. All right, next one. <laughs> that was good. That was good. How about a hand for this guy? Yeah, Joe. Joe. Joe, awesome. Joe, cool. Animal accents. Get, get ready. Um, they jump around a lot. They're gross. They're in the green. They're in the green spiky stuff on the ground. Yes. Uh, ribbit, ribbit. I'm a. No ribbit. Great choice. I'm a frog. Uh, Rudolph the red nose. Uh, song by heart. It's a fish with spiky teeth. Yes. Uh, don't know what that is. Never seen that word in my life. Uh, they're in the Telus commercials a lot. They have a weird Fish. smile. They're kind of possum me. Oh, uh, uh, carrot? Uh, close. Keep going. Uh, what? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was me or cat. Oh. Uh, they never forget. Afraid of mice. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, this one. Lion. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, oh. Uh, Dodge Truck. Sam Elliott does the voice. Commercials. Uh, it, it runs into yeah. things with its spiky head. Sam it's kind of like a goat, but meaner. Sam Elliott. Sam Ram. Elliott. Uh, Seriously? <laughs> Sam, that was the most obscure. <laughs> it's a no truck, voice. Sam Elliott. It's, it's that voice. It's that deep voice, Ram. Hey, Chelsea, this is not random, though, your picking of the things. It's like, I want to see... I want to see Nikki not know what a frog sounds like. Okay, I'm going to do music. Okay. All right, Joe, hi, how are you? Do you feel good about music? Yeah. You were so good with TV, I can't let you down. I can't let you down. Flip either way. Uh, right. Do you want to flip it up right now so to start it off? Great. Get ready. It says get ready. Four, three. Two, one, I am ready. Um, I don't care. The song. I, I don't care. I drove my boyfriend's car to the well and it was. No, no, no. It was this big this summer. It was young girls and they. No, it was two girls that probably don't speak English at all. I don't care. Oh, come on. It was, I love it. I don't care. I love it. My four-year-old knows it. What the fuck is wrong with you? All right. And I, 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 I. Okay, that's it. Good. Um, we were up all night. German, they were robots. Sam Neill does the voice. Come on, man. The Pharrell. Come on! I've got an idiot here! <laughs> it's the biggest song of the summer! It's the... Name a liquor. Okay, this I guy... So, Joe, you don't it's watch TV and you don't guy. listen to the radio. It's Daft Punk! It's Get Lucky! There were babies here! There were fetuses in the womb! That knew this the answer. This is exactly how you want to behave on your show. Don't! Joe, do not! Do not! Exactly, right? <laughs> okay, keep going. Keep chill. No, Let's keep going. We're, 
It's we're, we're, we're it's, killing it's, it. It's over. It's all over. Joe, you blew it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's just say we're all winners. And we're I want no, you to use this we're energy not all on winners. Come on, Daft Punk? Are you kidding? This guy had Sam Neill up his ass. This guy, <laughs> he didn't even know Daft Punk. You've never heard that song. We're up all night together. What, Joe, for what shame. part of my awesome singing? It's true. You sounded great in the Whitney Houston song. Right? Tell yes, me, uh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. That's it. Yeah. It was worth it for that. No, it's never worth it. Joe, Matt, thank you so much for coming up. You've been wonderful. Thank you. Joe. So oh, obscure. Man. I love these guys. Get off my stage. stage. Thank you. I love you. Alvira, thank you so much for being on the show. Really, so that's much. it? Because I feel that's like it. we haven't... All right. That's it. Oh, that's it. That's, it. that's, that's all the time you get. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. What a ride. All right, everybody. We had Fraser Young. We had Mandible. We had Elvira Kurt. Watch Spun Up on CHCH Channel Zero. Spin Up. What did I say? Oh, I said a different TV show that is not that one. Spin Up. Hey, I'm doing great. Chelsea Larkin, Paul Crocker. Special thanks to our sponsors, the Lakeview Restaurant, Keepsix.ca, and Steam Whistle. Grab a drink at the bar, and I'll see you next month. Yay!